All right. On today's episode of whatever the hell, let's uh change the wheel bearings and axle shafts, the CV shafts, on this uh 1999 ZR2 S10. First step has already been done. Remove the wheel. In this case, it's driver's side. I'm going to do both, but put this video on one side. Uh, the ultimate goal here, we're getting at, uh, like I said, the wheel bearing, and we're going to do a drive shaft. So, pop your wheel loose, pop your axle nut loose. Go ahead and take your caliper. And bracket off so you can get your rotor off and then what you're trying to do is get to these bolts right here there's three uh shoot i don't know what size they are on this thing oh grease great forgot i did that uh but those three bolts right there hold the wheel bearing assembly in and uh that's what we're trying to get at so let's uh proceed let's see See how this goes. This is more like a documentary of shade tree mechanic life. <laughs> Just thought I'd make a note. Uh, this is a 34 on my, well, I say my, my customer's truck. This is a 34 millimeter uh, hex. So 34 millimeter socket to take this off. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a standard my 34 millimeter fit on there perfectly so i put it on the uh trusty old craftsman uh impact and zipped it right off so next will be brake uh caliper and bracket i believe those are like 18 millimeter if i'm not mistaken i'll let you know all right well just like i had suspected before the caliper bolts and the bracket bolts are 18 well you'll need an 18 millimeter wrench they're not 18 threads it's an 18 hex head same goes for the oops see if we can get it in frame here same goes for the bolts here that goodness gracious can you see that i can't tell uh, there we go okay same goes for the bolts are about the crazy photography videography same goes for the bolts that hold the bearing assembly in a place the bearing and hub assembly in a place so we are just going to give it a little tappy here on the wrench because i don't like tapping on my ratcheting devices crack them all loose and see how successful we are pulling this out and then being able to pull the axle out without having to drop a uh, ball joint that would be fantastic if we can do that. Eh, if not, then eh, we'll see. First, though, I'm going to squirt a little panther piss on the threads that are sticking through here. Make it a little easier on ourselves to back it out. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, three things of note. One, and I can't believe I forgot it. Let's see if this thing will focus. I, okay, anyway, this this wire right here is your uh, ABS speed sensor, ABS sensor. It uh, goes into your hub assembly, bearing assembly. Man, I hope y'all can see that better than I can. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you want to pull that Allen bolt out. I don't know what size that is. Uh, was getting ready to check that. I should have done that before I turned the video on. Two, you'll want to be sure to secure your caliper so that it doesn't fall down and break your hose. Uh, I've only done it a few times and broke hoses, so I actually decided to zip tie that up. Three, this is most important. Secure your vehicle with something other than just a jack. Do as I say and not as I do. See if I can figure out what size this Allen head is for you, right quick. Hope everybody's doing well. Oh, Lord 
have mercy. And it appears to be a five millimeter. Okay, so five millimeter on the retaining uh, cap hex uh, Allen screw cap thing for the ABS speed sensor. All right, back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, change of plans. So my customer has actually ordered all new ball joints, tie rod ends, A-frame bushings, uh, everything. And since I'm going to have to pull the spindle, or at least one ball joint, pull the spindle to get the uh, half shaft out, the CV shaft, uh, we have decided to wait until next week when I do all that. So I'm just going to do the wheel bearings today. So where we're at here, uh, I've already, as you see, I've already pulled the three 18 millimeter, uh, well, not 18 millimeter thread, but pulled the three bolts using an 18 millimeter wrench. Uh, next thing is now that the, uh, oops, sorry. Now that the back and plate and everything's out of the way, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I did have to work this off. It was, it was on there. I used a, uh, little craftsman screwdriver right there and just kind of pried around, pried around, pried around. God, I'm a horrible videographer until I got it popped out. So I'm going to take a wire brush and just kind of clean this up before I put the new bearing in there. And I'm going back with this uh, Detroit axle wheel bearing assembly. And it actually came with a, a new ABS sensor. So before I get started, I'll probably unplug the ABS sensor and go ahead and get ready to uh, I'll go ahead and put the wheel bearing on first. Then I'll unplug the ABS sensor and deal with all that crap. All right, let's proceed. Okay, got the hub wheel bearing assembly back in. Don't forget to put your back and plate back on. I just went through that. Had the hub almost all the way on. I forgot to put my back and plate on. I realized it when I was just snugging down the bolts. I said, shit, I forgot the back and plate. So I had to pull it all back off. And another uh, uh, helpful tip here. If uh, hopefully you haven't got this far yet, uh, get yourself a little bit of axle grease, uh, petroleum jelly, KY jelly, or if you're being spontaneous, uh, just you know, spit on a tip and uh, let's see where to go. There's a uh, there's an o ring that goes around the bottom of that or down the wheel bearing portion, the inside of that uh, hub assembly there, and you don't you don't want to put that in dry. Don't, don't put it in dry. Put a little lubrication on it. Uh, trust me, she'll thank you. And it'll go in a lot. You'll thank yourself. You won't work near as hard to get it in there. Okay, so now the process is just reverse. Uh, go ahead and hook up your uh, ABS speed sensor. Uh, uh, brake caliper bracket. The brake caliper. Well, I'm sorry. Speed sensor. Rotor. Brake caliper bracket brake caliper and pads tire and wheel and you're done and thank you for uh if you've watched this far thank you for suffering through my mumbling and craziness and uh if you've enjoyed what you've seen and want to laugh at me some more subscribe and like thumbs up thumbs down whichever one you feel appropriate and uh leave a comment leave a approving comment or helpful tips or uh you know Tell me how stupid I am. I don't care. It all helps me out. Thanks again. And see you next time.